hey guys welcome back to channel and today we are going to create this game asset in autodesk maya so let's start with our prop and for that i'm going to take a cylinder and keep its radius to 0.25 increase the height to 7 and subdivisions to 16 and keep the subdivision caps to zero now go to front view and place this cylinder just here and create a duplicate and place this one here now select both of these cylinders and create another duplicate bring them up go to right view and scale them now rotate place them here now go to perspective view and select this cylinder again create another duplicate bring it in the center go to front view and rotate this and scale it put it on the top go to top view and place it just about right here now select all of them and combine now go to face mode and select these faces and bridge them select the curve type to blend and increase the subdivisions do the same for these faces curve type to blend and subdivisions to 5 Now take another cylinder and keep its radius to 0.2 and subdivisions to 16 and keep the subdivision cap to 0. Go to face mode and select these faces and delete them. Go to front view, go to object mode and rotate this cylinder and place it here. And scale it now select the cylinder and create another duplicate and place this one here to get rid of these hard edges just go to edge mode select these edges and go to mesh display and select soft on edge to create the platform i'm going to take a cube go to top view bring it out and change its width and height
<clears throat> now select this cube and go to face mode select the top face and delete it now go to face mode select this face and extract it keep it aside for now select this cube and extrude it To reverse the normals, just select all the faces, press shift and go to face normal and reverse. Now go to edge mode and select all these edges and add a bevel. Now bring back your extracted face, go to modify and center pivot, bring it down. And extrude it, give it some thickness to 0.2. To front view and go to wireframe, bring it down. Go to vertex mode and select these vertices and bring them inside. Do the same on the right side. Again go to front view. In the wireframe select all these top vertices and bring them up to create the wheels and support for the wheels I'm going to take uh, another cube bring it down go to right view and place this cube right under this handle go to vertex mode select these vertices and expand them just a little bit go to front view and place this cube under the cylinder and select these faces and delete them Again go to left view and vertex mode, select these vertices and pull them up. Go to edge mode again and select these edges and extrude them with some offset and select these edges and extrude them. Now select this object and extrude one more time. To reverse the normal just go to face mode and select all these faces. Face normal and reverse. Go to edge mode again select all these edges and add bevel. Now take another cube, go to front view and place it right under this object. Go to face mode and select these faces. And delete them.
the shift right click and use the connect tool select this edge and add five connections do the same for this edge go to left view and go to vertex mode select all these edge and scale them SR and scale it just a little bit bring it down and exclude the whole thing again go to front view and Select all these vertices and bring them close. And again, go to edge mode and select all these edges. And add a bevel. Create the wheel. I'm going to take a torus. Rotate this and go to front view. Place this under this. Press T and decrease the radius. Now select this torus and go to face mode. Select all these faces. And delete them. Now take a new cylinder. Go to front view and rotate this. Now go to right view and place the cylinder inside this torus. And decrease the radius. Keep the subdivision caps to zero. Select this cylinder and go to face mode and delete these faces. Go to edge mode and select these edges and extrude.
Now exclude one more time. Now go to edge mode again. Select these edges. Extrude and then press R to scale and use merge edge to center. Do the same for this side. Now select all of them and combine. For a front view, duplicate this and place this one here. Now select them again, go to right view and create another duplicate and place this one here. Let's create some screws and bolts for our asset. For that I'm going to take a cylinder. Bring it outside and change its radius to 0 0.05 and keep the height to 0 0.03 and subdivision axis to 6. Go to edge mode and select all these edges, add a bevel and some segments. Now go to front view and place this bolt right on top of that. And create a duplicate for this side. Create another duplicate and place them on the other side. So our asset is now completed. Let's unwrap this and export this for texturing in Substance Painter.